Good morning, Billy from Lexus of Kelowna here. Uh, just wanted to take a minute to shoot a video of another new piece we have here on the lot, a 2018 Mercedes-Benz C300 Coupe. Uh, don't get to see very many of these cars around, um, at our dealership at least, but uh, super excited to have it. Uh, really nice, clean car. Um, it's in great shape, body's in great shape, interior's in great shape. Nice, typical German sport styling. Um, Germans do a really, really good job with their sport cars, right? So. Um, Visually, really, really nice car. So, and then performance wise and, and all that that goes with it, we are super excited to have this car here. So basically this video is just going to uh, showcase the condition of the car, some of the features inside, but just give you a really good idea of what, uh, what it has to offer if you're looking to purchase from out of town um, or if you just can't make it down to have a look uh, right away here. So uh, we'll, we'll jump right into it. We'll start right up at the front here. Um, we're just looking at the body condition. So we're looking at the hood for any chips or anything like that. Don't see any. Uh, there's a little bit of moisture on here, but um, definitely no chips or no gouges or no scratches or anything like that on the front of this car. It's a really nice shape. Uh, even down on the lower apron, right? It's in really good shape. This, this chrome obviously could use a bit of a polish, but I don't see any massive chips or anything like that cracks. It's in really, really nice shape. Uh, you can tell that the previous owner did take good care of this car because it's hard to disguise uh, neglect, especially if it's a car that they've been really pushing, which it doesn't look like this car has been, right? So we'll continue on down the side here. We got parking sensors up in the front. Um, nice AMG wheels. So I believe this one has an AMG package. It's got the AMG wheels on it. Nice big sport front grille. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not a Benz uh, specialist, but usually when they have the AMG rims on there, it's got the AMG package. So. They're in good shape, brakes are good, tires are in good shape. No major dents or anything like that on the body. No major cracks or anything like that on the backs of the mirrors. Uh, windshield's in good shape too. No big dents on the body. So coming right down the side here, All right? It's got that nice big moon roof. It's gonna let in a lot of nice natural light into the car for you. No big scratches or anything like that on the lower uh, rockers or anything. Tires and rims here again, really nice shape. Lots of life left on your tires. And no big dents or cracks or anything like that, or chips or scratches here. So coming around to the back quarter. Again, nice shape. Coming around to the back here, we got that backup camera, parking sensors on the rear. We'll open up this trunk for you. Nice deep trunk too. Super deep trunk. It's kind of deceiving with these coupes, right? Cause you think they got a short back to them, but um, tons of space in the back of that trunk. And then the seats do fold down. There's these little handles right here that we can just pull and it unlatches. And then all you had to do is just uh, push that seat forward, whatever you're putting in. So continuing on around the back passenger quarter. Again, no big scratches or dents or anything like that. I think it stands out. Really nice thing about this color too, the silver color. Minor little scuffs and scrapes here. Can't see it. So, a uh, tiny little bit of uh, curving on this side of the room, which is very common. A little bit more down there. Very common on the passenger side because obviously if you're parallel parking, that's where the curve is. With these low profile tires, it's a very common thing with these German cars. Uh, no dents or anything like that in this section of the uh, corners. Passenger door, it's in great shape, right? Mirrors, blind spot monitoring systems, no cracks or anything like that on the back. Keyless entry, right? Let me open this up here. Um, and then we'll have a look at the inside. The inside's in immaculate shape. It's almost like a new car, right? Door sills, all the leather, um, leatherette is in great shape. Seat looks new. Absolutely nothing to, to point out on the inside. Got those nice AMG floor mats as well. Beautiful dash. I love the Mercedes dash. Um, they do incredible styling in my opinion. All right. Memory seats on the passenger side and heated seats, right? Uh, it's not every day you see the memory seats on the passenger side too, which is a nice feature. So 
We're coming around to the front uh, passenger quarter. Again, a couple of curb rash uh, marks on the rims here. Tires and brakes are in great shape though. So we'll continue around here. Uh, we'll pop inside, show you some of the features of, uh, inside the car. Actually pretty well conclude the video. So let me jump in here. You see again, trunk release down there. All your window switches, mirror adjustments, and then memory seat and heated seats for the drivers, obviously. Jump on in. Automatic lights, right? All your steering wheel mounted controls here, voice command, uh, menu controls, all your controls for your audio system and your telephone. All right? Um, it's giving me a warning, but that seat's not latched in the back because I popped it open. So I'll just fix that real quick. And there we go. So a nice display up in the dash here. Nice, decent sized screen. Gives you everything you need to know. Uh, all your music, all your different settings, um, everything like that, right? So you can go back, navigation, radio, all your media settings, phone setting, vehicle settings, all up through here, right? Um, cruise control, steering wheel adjustment, electric steering wheel adjustment, right? So it's up, down and it also telescopes for us, all right? Coming over here, you got those nice big uh, air vents that's very, very typical in the Mercedes-Benz. Dual zone climate control systems, and then you got some hot buttons here again for your navigation, for your radio, for your media, so you don't always have to use the um, Mercedes. Uh, you can use this as a touchscreen. you can use this as a roller, sort of selecting your menu items left and right. A um, bunch of different ways to actually interact with that system. And then right up in here, you got some cup holders, um, 12 volt. Actually, this one has a cigarette lighter, funny enough. I can guarantee, promise you, this car has not been smoked in. Um, and then a couple other uh, nice features, different drive modes, sport mode, um, comfort mode go mode right you can just go sort of go through and you can customize them a little bit right so um obviously a mercedes-benz bit of performance uh, aspects to it right so they like to be able to give you some tuning options power sunshade that's going to open up that nice uh, big moon roof for us and then it can crack for you there too right we can close that now the whole moon roof moves up in that sort of cracked uh, cracked open position And uh, yeah, if we open up this here, got some nice deep storage space down here too. So all in all, uh, this car is in excellent shape. Really, really clean. Um, again, we're super excited to have it on the lot here. Back here, 40,175 kilometers. Super low K for a 2018, right? So um, paddle shifters behind the steering wheel, typical Mercedes Benz gear selector up in the column. And uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes my video. So I just want to thank you for spending some time here. Give me another exterior shot of the car. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching the video. I hope it's given you a, a good amount of confidence, um, especially if you're looking to buy from out of town. Um, that's what these videos are designed to do. Uh, we want to make sure that you're comfortable with uh, making a decision and trusting that um, these vehicles are what they are, or these represent what they are online as well. So. Um, again, 2018 Mercedes C300 Coupe, um, Lexus of Kelowna. Thank you for watching the video.